Welcome back. It was a story we brought you a couple of weeks ago. A teacher humiliated a fifth grader for reading the Bible during free reading time in class and left this message for his parents. Listen. I noticed that she has a book, a religious book, in the classroom. He's not permitted to read those books in my classroom. Well, this morning there's finally some good news here. The school district lifting the ban on Bible reading. With regard to the accelerated reading program, if a book is on the AR list, including books of the Bible, a student is free to read such a book during AR reading time. Joining us now is fifth grader Giovanni Rubio and his dad, Paul Rubio, and their attorney, Jeremy Dice, from the Liberty Institute. Nice to see all three of you this morning. So, Giovanni, take me back to that moment when you found out that you weren't allowed to read the Bible in class. How did you feel about that? Well, I just felt um, very, like, nervous, very nervous. And did you think you were doing something wrong? No, not at all. Though there was some miscommunication here along the way somehow, uh, right, Jeremy? Because the school's saying, well, no, it's, it's okay that he was reading it, just not during this, what, accelerated reading program? Where was the disconnect? Well, I don't know that there was a miscommunication. Clearly, the teacher left a voicemail and was very clear about what was or was not allowed in her classroom. The problem here is that the school attempted to say, look, this wasn't free reading time. Well, it was free reading time, and it doesn't matter whether it's free reading time or the accelerated reader program. Students in America can read their Bible while they're at school. It just so happened once they gave us their list, within about five minutes, we were able to find 60 of the 66 books of the Bible on the accelerated reader program. Now, you know, Giovanni, you felt pretty embarrassed about this. You were sitting there holding the Bible, reading quietly. What did you think when she came up and said you can't read that? What did you say? I, when she uh, said I couldn't read it, I felt offended. Hmm. Well, and of course, the father in all of this, uh, Paul, you, you were more than offended. But the school now has apologized. They sent this, uh, th this little letter to you, and I want to see if it's enough for you. They say, we sincerely regret and apologize for any misunderstanding or miscommunication that may have occurred regarding this issue. That's from the Broward County School Board. What do you say? Is that enough for you? R right. I feel very dissatisfied. Obviously, there was no misunderstanding. It's very clear what they've done. And as far as miscommunication, the voicemail certainly speaks for itself. And the Broward County School representative who spoke about the AR reading program, there's no miscommunication there. It's just very frustrating that they won't accept responsibility, the government, for doing something wrong. Very disappointing. What do you want to see happen to the teacher? Well, that would be between her and her employers. We don't want to get involved in that, but we certainly don't want to allow that to happen anymore in the future. Jeremy, has anything happened to this teacher? Do we know if she's been fired? We're not aware of anything having happened to the teacher at this point, but what is clear is that students are permitted to read their Bible in, in the classroom across America and in this country. And the sad reality is, is that the teacher in this situation, as well as school officials throughout the country, this is not the first time this kind of thing has happened. Right. Uh, and we're seeing more and more of these, these kinds of things happening across the country. Students need to know their rights while they're at school, and so do parents. And we've got good parents like Paul uh, and, and Giovanni here that are willing to stand up for their constitutional rights in that circumstance. It's going to take more parents like that, understanding what their rights are and being, in, being willing to graciously assert those rights, even when they're told that they're lying about that situation, and to be, being willing to assert their First Amendment freedom that guarantees them the, the right to read the Bible while they're at school. Giovanni, what did your friends say? Well, most of my friends were behind me. They were definitely agreeing with me. They said that, Gio, you're flat out right. You're, you're doing a really good, good job. They were supporting me. Well, good. Well, thank you for standing up for your constitutional rights. Be able to sit there in class and read a Bible if you want to. Uh, Jeremy, keep us up to date on this case and more across the country because we know this is a, a continuing problem. And have a great Memorial Day weekend to all of you. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. Thank right. you. You guys, too. Thank you. Coming up here on the show.